Ladies and gentlemen, the Dennis Day Show. Yes, it's Dennis Day with Robert Armbruster and the orchestra. And Dennis' special guest, Rosemary Clooney and Jimmy Durante. And now here he is, the star of our show, Dennis Day. Ladies and gentlemen, well, this is a big night for me. A new radio show for a new sponsor is an important occasion, and to tell you the truth, I'm, I'm a little nervous. Oh, come, 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 Dennis. Why should you be nervous? After all, more people paid more money to see you at the Sahara in Las Vegas this summer than any other star they ever hired. Well, Jimmy, never did so many pay so much for so long to get so little. <laughs> Oh, don't be so modest. How about telling the people about the new Dennis Day Show? All right, Jimmy. We're going to do a show for everybody. We'll have wonderful guests and one of the best announcers in the business. You all know Jimmy Wallington, and you've all listened to the fine radio shows he's appeared on. And we're going to have one of the outstanding musicians in show business to lead our orchestra, Bobby Armbruster. <laughs> Thanks. That was a... Very generous introduction. Well, believe me, Bobby, it was straight from the heart. To a singer, the music and the orchestra is everything. It is? Yes, sir. You're the most valuable member on this show. Boy, wait till I get home and tell my wife. She says I'm nothing. <laughs> Great job. Oh, I tell you, you could charm the birds out of the trees, charm candy away from little boys and girls, and make a beautiful young woman forget her lover. <laughs> well, I see a beautiful young woman, and I'm ready to try. Will you give the word? Who? Miss Rosemary Clooney, star of Paramount Pictures, top recording star. Yeah, and general all-around girl. Thank you, Dennis. If there's anything I'm proud I am, it's an all-around girl. And if Christian Dior is listening, no, no, you can't take that away from me. <laughs> you know, Rosemary, I've had something on my mind to tell you for a long time. What is it, for goodness sake? Well, it was one of your big hit records, and I want to say, here and now, I'm ready. I have a feeling I'm leading with my chin, but you're ready for what? You said, come on to my house. <laughs> Well, Jose and I will be very happy to have you over any time. Jose? Well, somehow it doesn't sound like what I had in mind. Oh, come on, Dennis. Don't tell me you're a wolf. Oh, of course not. I just happen to love apple, a peach, and a pomegranate, too. <laughs> Say, uh, Dennis, according to my program, Miss Clooney is supposed to sing right here. Oh, I'm ready if you are, Bobby. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Miss Rosemary Clooney singing... All the Pretty Little Horses. Hush a 
goodbye don't you cry go to sleepy little baby when you Blacks and bays, dapples and grays, coach and coachman, maybe hush a bye, don't you cry, go to sleepy. Butterflies are closing tired eyes. It's slumber time. They know it's time for them to go to sleepy town. And so, sweetheart of mine, hush a don't you cry. Go to sleepy little baby When you wake You shall have All the pretty little horses Blacks and bays Dapples and grays Coach and coachman Maybe hush a don't you cry, go to sleepy little baby. Miss Clooney, that was superb. Well, thank you, Jimmy. From you, that's a very high compliment. I understand you're something of a connoisseur of girl singers. Oh, yes, indeed. Collecting records made by female vocalists has been a hobby of mine for years. Oh, I had a hobby like that when I was about 16. Collecting records of girl singers? No, collecting girls. (laughs) (laughs) And speaking of girls, you and your sister Betty have the disc jockeys all over America talking about the Clooney girls... Do you have any other sisters? No, my sister Betty and I were the only girls in a whole house full of boys. Brothers? How many? Brothers, nothing. Boyfriends. (laughs) Betty and I like that much, much better. My mother and dad had nothing but boys. No girls at all? Tell me, Dennis, are any of your brothers in show business? No, brother Jim's a doctor and brother Bill's a dentist. Oh, a medical family. Yep, our family coat of arms is a blue cross surrounded by jewel-encrusted tongue depressors. You know, you know, Dennis, what I missed most about not having any brothers was that I never heard any romantic duets sung around the house. Yeah, the same thing in my house. Hey, Rosemary, why don't we adopt each other temporarily and sing one now, huh? Place, park, scene, dark. Silvery moon is shining through the trees. Cast to me. Sound of kisses floating on the breeze. Act one, begun. Dialogue, where would you like to spoon? My cue with you underneath the silvery moon. By the light of the silvery moon. I want to swoon To my honey I'll croon Love's tune Honeymoon Keep a-shining in June 
Your silvery beams will bring love dreams. We'll be cuddling soon. Be cuddling soon by the silvery moon. By the light. By the light. By the light. Of the silvery moon. Of the silvery moon. I want to spoon. I want to spoon. To my honey, I'll croon. I'll croon love's tune. Honeymoon, honeymoon, honeymoon. Keep a shining in June. Your silvery beams will bring love dreams. We'll be cuddling soon. Be cuddling soon by the silvery moon. The silvery moon by the silvery. was real nice, Rosemary. Incidentally, I heard that duet you recorded with your husband, Jose Ferrer. You mean the two songs called Man and Woman? Yeah. You know, this is liable to set a new pattern. Husband and wife recording teams. Can you imagine a disc jockey playing something by Bogey and Baby? <laughs> or or, or <laughs> Lippy DeRocher and Lorraine Day. Or Tommy Manville and a girls' choir. <laughs> You know who I'd love to hear in a duet? No, who? Ronald Coleman and his wife, Benita. Rosemary, no sooner said than sung. You be Benita and I'll be Ronnie. Hmm. Oh, Ronnie. Ah, uh, what is it, Benita? You're two hours late for our vocal rehearsal. What delayed you? Ah, uh, Benita, my dear, I stopped off and played a few rounds with Ike. That wasn't cricket. It wasn't golf, either. <laughs> well... Now that you're here, shall we rehearse for our gramophone record? Now I'm ready. Act one, scene one. Couple meeting for a spot of tea. Ah, act one, scene two. Will you pass the marmalade to me? <laughs> May I give you something sweet to make your heart go bump? Ah, yes, dear. Yes, dear. All I take is... Just one lamp <laughs> by the light of the Manchester moon. We love to spoon while we're munching on the Mac Aroon. But then we'll flit round the town for a bit. Ah, yes. And we'll be gone until the dawn while we doggedly slog. Through the Manchester Park. is only using one lip. <laughs> and now, and now Durani will sing the number one song of the day. Three coins in the fountain. <laughs> Each one seeking happiness. Stop the music. Stop the music. Why should I make that song a big hit? <laughs> you know... You know, if it wasn't for me, Hut Sut Ralston would still be Patlam. <laughs> oh, Jimmy, you know, your voice is sparkling, bubbling, refreshing, and as my friend Commander Whitehead would say, it has schweppervescence. <laughs> schweppervescence? <laughs> schweppervescence? <laughs> you know, I spell it for you, Dennis, but the studio closes at midnight. 
But that is neither mamma nor Chevis. <laughs> I got it right, Mamma Chevis. You know, Dennis, I brought over a song I composed myself, and I want you to sing it with me. Jimmy, you composed a song? I'll answer that in the negative. Yes. <laughs> you know, for three months I worked on the song with the greatest musical songwriter of all time. Who? Berlin? Berlin? No, Umbriaco. <laughs> Well, let me be the first to congratulate you, Jimmy. Your song will probably be a big seller. Indubitably. You know, it compares with the sextet from I Love Lucy, the quartet from Rigor Mortis. <laughs> Where are them words they're giving me here? <laughs> Indubitably, it compares with the sextet from I Love Lucia, the quartet from Rigor Mortis, and the quintet from the Harbin... From the Harlem Globe Trials. <laughs> Wait a minute, Jimmy. You're talking about classical music. If I remember correctly, you only sing popular songs. Dennis, your memory's bad. But, Jimmy, you don't have the type of voice for operatic arias. I always sing operatic arias. Your ears are bad. <laughs> oh, so you're a long hair. Your eyes are bad, too. <laughs> you know, for your information, Dennis, this summer I electrified the Hollywood Bowl. You did? Yeah, me and three other electricians. <laughs> I got a million of them, a million of them. Hardly had the ink dried on my manuscript when the office started pouring in. Yeah. Rogers and Hammerstein wanted my song for a show. Uh -huh. Daryl Zanuck wanted it for a movie. And I even got an offer from Liberace. What does Liberace want with your song? He needed the paper to light his candelabra. <laughs> yes, brother George has such sh short fingers. <laughs> tell me, Dennis, how did you and Umbriago go about writing your tell song? Tell me, Dennis. Give me my right name, even, will you, please? <laughs> Just tell me, Dennis. <laughs> go ahead. James is the name. <laughs> tell me, Dennis. Ain't you got enough name in the thing already? <laughs> But tell me, uh, but tell me, James. Sure. Uh, <laughs> one, you... one more show with me, you won't be able to do a radio show. <laughs> but tell me, James, how did you and Umbriago go about writing your song? Well, Umbriago borrowed a few notes from Cole Porter. He took some lines from Hoagy Carmichael, a couple of bars from Oscar Hammerstein, and some choice rhymes from Nick Kenny. What did he get? 90 Days for Plagiarism. <laughs> By the way, Jimmy, what's the title of your song? I'm glad you asked, Dennis. Yeah? Because I've been waiting to say something about the songs they write nowadays. Shaboom. Oop shoop. And gilly gilly off and pfeffer cast an Ellie broken by the sea. <laughs> now, what do those songs mean? Nothing. Now, when I write a song, it makes sense. All right, Jimmy, but what's the name of your song? Inka Dinka Do. <laughs> Say, Mr. Durante. What is it, Mr. Armsbrusher? <laughs> it's, it's about this arrangement you gave me. Don't tell me there's something wrong with it. I orchestrated that symphony all alone. And it wasn't easy. I can't write. <laughs> well, I'm not sure the boys in my orchestra can play this. Son, you're too young to worry. Just throw that arrangement out to them musicians and let's take pot luck. Go right at you. Oh, crony. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I heard my echo in this room. Well, what's so unusual about that? The echo sounds better than me. <laughs> now listen. Ink, a dink a dink a dink a dink a dink a dink Wait a minute. Nothing. It's got the whole world spooning. Somebody is forging my voice. Well, it ain't me. Boy, you know, Dennis, you've been a tenor all these years. Is your voice changing? Who, me? My voice is the envy of the operatic world. I'm the Republican Party's answer to Margaret Truman. Wait. <laughs> Wait a minute. Stop the music. Yeah. A fraud is being penetrated on the people. <laughs> Do 
You're imitating me, and there just ain't room in this town for two Durannies. Yeah, that's right. One of us has got to go. With both of us talking like this, nobody will ever know which twin is the phony. <laughs> okay, Dennis. Let's toss the harmony around. And the last guy to finish is a bum. Yeah. Ink, a dinkity, a dinkity, a dinkity. Who what it to? Oh, fruity. Yeah, great, great. Ink, a dinkity, a dinkity, a dinkity. It's got the whole world screwed in. You know, Dennis. Yeah. You know, when you asked me to go on your program, I was going to ask you, tell me, who are you working for now? The same bunch, the wife and kids. Ha, ha, ha. Now, I think it is. Oh, Jimmy, you sang beautifully, and your diction was flawless. Why not? I once took electrician lessons. <laughs> You know, they spell these words wrong. <laughs> Why not? I once took electrocution lessons. You did? You mean you took lessons in the proper way to speak and enunciate? You really didn't need them. I know, but they wanted to correct one fault. Yeah? They said I talked through my nose. <laughs> you know, last week they told me to pronounce the word anti dresser establishment tazarism but it was no use. I still talk through my nose. Well, how did it sound? I don't know. It hasn't come out yet. <laughs> Jimmy, I don't think you ever had an elocution lesson in your whole life. Rosemary Cooney. <laughs> you know, Dennis, my boy, you've been holding out on me. You had a beautiful woman here, and you had your boys hold her back. Next time, let her go. I like to fight them off myself. <laughs> Jimmy, you're the most attractive man in Hollywood. Let's not hash over the same old story. What's new? <laughs> now, wait a minute, Rosemary. Do you really think Jimmy is the most attractive man in Hollywood? Of course I do. Look at those beautiful, romantic eyes of his. Close together and beady, but bubbling <laughs> over with sex appeal. <laughs> look, at that, look at that wonderful nose. To the men who climb Mount Everett? You'll never plant the flag of England on this peak. <laughs> All right, Dennis, go about your business and sing. I'm going to hum to Rosemary in a quiet corner and just play drive her crazy. <laughs> what a catastrophe this is. Young man courting the girls, I played me a waiting game. If a maid refused me with tossing curls, I'd let the old earth take a couple of whirls while I plied her with tears in lieu of pearls. And as time came around, she came my way. As time came around, she came. Oh, it's a long, long while from May to December, other days grow short when you. When the autumn weather turns the leaves to flame, one hasn't got time for the waiting game. All the days dwindle down.
precious days I'll spend with you these precious Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. That's it for now. And don't forget to tune in next week when our guests will be Rochester and Peggy King. Rochester and Peggy King. Join us then, won't you? This is Rosie Clooney. And Nosy Durante. <laughs> and ring around the rosy, nosy day, saying, Every song that I sing, I'll sing to you. And I hope I can bring So long, everyone, and God bless you. <laughs>